My whole aim was to get across the whole idea of teamwork and how important it is for these patients who do have a rare cancer to um, ensure that they know that they have they are um, being cared for appropriately in a smaller hospital by um, teams of people who are specialised. Um, my consultants sub-specialise so that they are then able to offer the patients some, the best um, information and um, treatment that they possibly can. And we're also not, not afraid to um, seek a second opinion. And I, think, I felt it was very important that that message came across about um, the importance of the patients appreciating what the um, healthcare professionals um, do to provide the best care. You know, we're only human, we're trying to work with lots of, with time constraints and lots of other, um, um, other patients, sadly. Um, and it was really important to ensure that these people, th these patients really do feel as if they're supported by their healthcare teams. And it's, um, and I feel that that message I hope that message came across well because it's very much from a from a district general hospital with a catchment area of, five, of uh, about half a million, which is very different to the sort of catchment area and patients that um, people like Professor Claire Harrison are seeing at Guy's. And there, and sometimes you you worry that these hospitals are a little bit in a bubble because they have the, all that so many um, healthcare professionals all focusing on this patient group, and we're trying to keep up to that level and learning from them, but we can also provide excellent care in the smaller hospitals. I think it's really important for patients who, when they get referred in, they may well see their GP who may have no information and will um, not necessarily understand the disorder because they don't see it very very often. And they will refer into a district general hospital potentially um, and see a haematologist. And, and I hope that now patients who are being um, um, who are being diagnosed now will have a different experience to patients who were diagnosed say five years ago because I think the inf the, the literature is now available the the websites we're we're, ab we're able to signpost people to the websites and to the information and also healthcare professionals don't mind admitting if they don't know how to manage a condition and they will refer on. Um, we don't, you don't find um, healthcare professionals now who are sort of struggling to manage things. They're not afraid to ask for a second opinion. So they may well ask for a second opinion without actually formally sending somebody to a, to a larger teaching hospital. For the very, very rare types, they will refer on directly. And I think, um, I hope that patients because I, having just spoken to patients after my presentation, there was a chap who said it took seven years from his diagnosis to actually be given a booklet about his diagnosis and that is shocking and I would hope that somebody who is presenting now that won't happen because of things like this because of um, what's available on the internet and what's what's happening in healthcare and and now people are quite happy to ask for advice and refer on and seek the special uh, the specialist but you should find for patients should find when they come when they're referred to a district general hospital there will be a haematologist that is familiar and um, has a and manages a caseload of patients with MPNs.